Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to create video previews for your TPT products. If you are new to my channel, my name is Blanca and my goal is to help you be successful on Teachers Pay Teachers. So if you're looking for tips and TPT related tutorials like this one, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. A couple of weeks ago, I made a video where I showed you an example of two video previews that I created for my TPT products. I'll link that below if you haven't seen it so you can watch it after this one. In that video, I mentioned that one of the video previews was flashy and it had music and title overlays, but that it took me a couple hours to make and that the other video was a simple screen recording with the voiceover that had taken me about 10 minutes to make. At the time, I thought that it's better to use your time wisely and that a simple preview that gave all your products information was just good enough. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized that we're not really here for just good enough. You aren't watching my videos because you want to be good enough on TPT. You're watching my videos because you want to know how to move your business forward and stand out from the rest of the crowd. And to be honest, those flashy videos are the way to do that. And those aren't just my words, those are yours. I got so many messages that said you appreciated the simpler videos, but that you thought the flashier ones would make your products and stores stand out more. And I agree. When you take the time to make these videos look professional, it makes your business look professional and in turn makes people want to buy more products from you. At least that's what I believe. So I took some time to try and figure out the best and easiest way to show you how to create these video previews because spending a couple hours on just one video was not going to cut it. So today I'm going to walk you through that process. While doing that research, I did find a YouTube video by a person named Chloe Taskoff. And in that video, she talks about the different parts that a video product preview should have. I'll link her video in the description box below as well but I do wanna give her credit because we are going to be using the same components that she mentioned as I walk you through how to create the video preview. To create the videos, I'll be using Canva. I know a lot of you are already using Canva, so I thought this is a good fit for most of us. If you don't have a Canva account, you can register for a free personal account or an education account. The education account will give you access to almost all of the premium features, but you will need a school email to validate it. I'll put my link below if you'd like to use my signup. I think we both get some sort of credit, but I'm not really quite sure, so you can feel free to use it or not. It's totally up to you. Anyway, let's keep going. What we're gonna be creating is essentially an animated slideshow, so you don't have to worry if you don't have any video editing experience. But before we start working on the actual video, I wanna show you this graphic. This graphic is not mine, it's from Chloe's video, and I'm using it with her explicit permission. Our product preview is going to have seven slides all together, and the text that is going to go on them is going to be guided by the graphic, which we'll look at closer when we start building it out. But if you're going to be following along with me, make sure that you have five product photos or screenshots ready to go for your one product. Okay, let's jump in. First off, you should know that the video can't be longer than two minutes. I don't think buyers have that long of an attention span, so I wouldn't make this very long anyway. In fact, I like to set myself a 30 to 35 second limit for all my previews. Go to the top and click create a design. Then type in slideshow video, which should be 1920 by 1080. You have some templates to choose from on the left here, and we're going to start with one of these. I like this one here, and when you click on it, you get 10 different slide templates to choose from. I like to choose the ones with the larger images, so I'll go ahead and pick a total of seven of these, which means I'll have a couple duplicate slides, but it's not a big deal because no one's going to notice that. Now I'm gonna change the colors of this template to match my brand colors. So I'll click on the background of slide one, click on the little square at the top, type in my brand color, and then be sure to check this box at the bottom that says change all. This will change all of the yellow background colors to this blue one in one easy click. My brand doesn't have any pink, so I'll click on this pink and change it to another one of my colors, which is this yellow, and I'll click on change all again. I'm also gonna do that with this blue text box real quick, and I'll change it to green and click change all. Within a few seconds, it's already looking more on brand. Now I'm going to delete these rectangular photo placeholders because the images I selected to use to showcase my product are from my previews, and those are square images, not rectangles. If I were to try to just drop them in to this placeholder like this, part of my image will be cropped off because mine are squares and these are rectangles and I don't want that. So I'm just gonna go through and delete all of these photo placeholders real quick as part of the setup. 
I'll leave the black backgrounds because I'll still use them as a border for my new images in a minute. The first and last slides will be title slides, so I'm going to make the text boxes really big here and delete anything else that's not necessary. Now these middle boxes is where we're going to place our screenshots or our product photos and the information on each text box will be based on Chloe's diagram. First, every buyer has a problem that they're hoping you will help them solve. If they didn't have a problem, they wouldn't be shopping around and be willing to spend money. So what our first title slide will do is point out what that problem is so that the buyer feels like you understand them and have just what they need. So as a quick example, a common problem that teachers have is keeping engagement up with students during a lesson. But we won't say that because that won't give us a deeper connection with our buyer. Instead, we might say something like, do you feel overwhelmed when trying to engage your class in fun ways? This hits them to the core because it's how they are feeling. I'll go ahead and change the font size and formatting to make it nice and prominent. The second slide will tell them how we're going to solve the problem for them. But here's the thing, you're not gonna say that your product solves it and that they need to buy it right away. Now I know what you're thinking, wait a second, I'm making this video to promote my product and encourage them to buy. And I promise you that your video preview will do that, but you don't wanna come off too strong or you might push people away. Instead, we'll give them a more generic solution. I might say something like, incorporating meaningful learning games is your answer. And of course I'll work on fixing the sizing and formatting for this in a little bit. The middle slides is where you can tell them how your product is here to rescue them and solve whatever their problem was. It's your chance to highlight the most important selling points. If you don't need all three slides, you can just delete one, but you wanna keep at least two. In the same token, if you need another slide, you can go ahead and add it in, just don't make your video too long. So I'll write how my math track learning game is going to solve their problem. In this slide, I'll tell them that kids will love math track games because it reminds them of fun board game. And in this slide, I'll point out that they can earn ribbons to encourage them to keep playing. In the next slide, you wanna highlight any positive reviews your product may have because social proof is super powerful. If your product doesn't have any reviews yet, you could either delete this slide or use it to highlight another selling point. I'm just gonna delete it for now because these games are new in my store and so I don't have any reviews for it. I also think I've done a pretty good job at highlighting all the features with the other slides. Okay, so now the very last slide is your call to action. This is where you tell the viewer what you want them to do. In our case, it's to buy. So you can say something like buy it now or get it now or anything along those lines. All right, now we are going to add in our product images and work on resizing them. It's important to keep your text boxes in front of the images so that you can read them clearly when we add in the animations. This is where having those images already handy will save you a lot of time. If I had to stop to go and take the screenshots, it would really mess with my flow and slow down my process. Now that everything looks pretty good, it's time to add in the animations and adjust the timing. I'm gonna select each slide and go up here to the timer and change it to maybe four or 3.5 seconds. I'll start with four for now and adjust it if I need to later. But try not to go over five seconds for each slide because it can make your video a little bit boring. If you want the video to be longer, I suggest you add more slides versus making the timer on each slide longer. The next step is to choose background music or a song to go with our video. Thankfully, Canva has us covered here again. Simply go over here to the left and click on audio. Go through the songs that are available and find one that you like. You can even choose specific sounds by using the filters at the top here. I'm gonna use this one called Safety Net under Bright Songs. Now, if you started with a template like we did, the slides are already animated, so technically you could just stop here. Let's see what it looks like right now with the built-in animations by clicking on this play button at the top. Like the built-in animations so I'm going to go ahead and change some of them. All you have to do is select the item you want to animate, click on the animate button at the top toolbar here, and then choosing the animation that you do like. If the animation has a crown that means it's for premium or education users. The ones that don't have a crown are for people using the free account. You can do this for every single part of your slide. So I could animate the text and then choose a different animation for the boxes around it. I like the tumble and pop animations for the first and last slide, 
and the middle ones, I'll just go in and choose random ones. But all of this is personal preference, so just go in and mess around with it until you have something that you like. I tend to make a change, then press the play button to see if I like it, then either keep it or make another change. And then just keep doing that over and over again. When you have something that you like, it's time to export it. You'll click on this down arrow at the top right, which is to download, and leave the file type as MP4. And make sure that all of the slides are selected. Then click on download. When it's done downloading, you'll have a video product preview ready to go. Let's take a quick look at how mine came out. And that's a really quick tutorial on how to create these video product previews that a lot of people really want. Yeah, I think it really makes your business look more professional when you've taken the time to build this out for them. I hope that the tutorial was easy to follow and that now you have another way to create these videos instead of these apps that are sometimes just way too confusing. Oh, and I'm thinking of doing my first YouTube live where I walk you through on how to create one of these video previews together, but I'm kind of nervous that no one's gonna show up. So if that's something that you're interested in, Make sure you let me know in the comments below so that I can set up a date for you. And if you'd like to watch other TPT related videos, make sure you click on the links that are coming up now. Until then, be kind to one another and enjoy the last couple days of school.